rights as properly understood are moral entitlements provided by law to protect humans. They are not earned. People are said to be born with them. Liberty, life, the pursuit of happiness, these are unalienable rights, according to the Declaration of Independence in the United States. But very recently, the Ecuadorian Constitution now reads that nature is subject to these rights given by the Constitution and law, meaning that nature, where life reproduces and exists, is given the right to persist, to keep from being extinct, to regenerate vital cycles, structure, functions, and evolutionary processes. Switzerland has constitutionally established the intrinsic dignity of plants. If you ask me, this sounds like people are going fucking insane. With rights comes responsibility, and even if we gave animal rights, they'd end up in fucking animal prison. Oh right, that already happened. They'd end up in animal prison right away for assaulting and killing people or each other. And how are we going to figure out intent or non-intent? They'd end up in prison for not paying their fucking income taxes. For having sex in the streets and not caring where their shit goes. Life isn't a Disney cartoon. Lions and tigers and bears and meerkats and ocelots don't sit around singing songs and giving each other birthday presents. Hippopotamuses are portrayed as one of the cutest animals, and yet their death toll annually of humans far exceeds the amount that crocodilians get. Grrrr. The simple fact is, no matter how good you are at lying to yourself about it, animals don't care about each other. People care about each other. Otherwise, nobody would have thought up rights. And people would care about each other regardless of laws, regardless of religion, regardless of guilt. We're evolutionarily a social animal. The natural unit of humanity is in tribes or in, in families. We like to stick together. Now you might say the Holocaust this, genocide that. People care about each other.